I got this for my nephews for Christmas, and man, they're gonna love this. <laughs> At least I hope they will. I myself have not actually tried it. It looks quite fun though, so I think they will enjoy it. Is there some trick to not wasting wrapping paper that I don't know about? Because if you want to do a really good job, you have to cut it exactly the size, and then you end up with pieces like this. Is that just the, the name of the game? Hello there, welcome to the vlog. I've had a very busy day. I thought I was gonna be able to vlog today. Somehow just totally ran out of time. It's dinner time. He is dinner time! Okay, well, I think that's gonna have to do it for today's vlog. We're gonna roll right into tomorrow right now. I'll see you right now. Here we go. People who don't want stuff. How do people just not want stuff? There are plenty of times where I don't have anything in particular I want, but most of the time there's always some like thing that I'm like, oh, I, I want that. For the most part, I'm able to only get the things I really want. There's times where I get stuff that I regret. And the stuff I want is really not that expensive in the scheme of things. But how do people just, when there's so much cool stuff to be had, how do you just not want stuff all the time? I don't understand. Okay, so quick update on my portable computing solutions. First off, I've talked about this before. This is the base model iPad, 128 gigabytes. I have the Logitech Combo Touch case. What's great about it is the stand has a case and you can attach a keyboard very easily and unattach it very easily, which gives you the form factor of an iPad, but the usability of a laptop. This thing is my instant messaging device. It is so perfect to have right next to my computer when I'm doing my work and I wanna send a message, boom, I just go over here, type it up. It's fantastic. What this means though is I returned my M1 MacBook. Oh, it was painful to do it, but the need for that laptop is just not there. I just couldn't justify it. Plus, I'm going to have a very big expense coming up soon, which I will talk about a little bit later, probably. But suffice it to say, it is not the best use of my money. I'm going to write some music today. I've actually never done a music commission before and I'm pretty sure I've been asked before. And I've always hesitated to doing it because working for somebody else's tastes is very difficult. And all of the client work I've ever done, people are actually usually very happy with the work. But trying to meet those expectations and trying to figure out what people want, it can feel really stressful because you're like, man, I don't know if they want. But in this particular instance, the musical commission comes from somebody who actually knows what my music sounds like and wants my music, basically. That's the type of client work I want to do, is when people know what I do and say, I just want what you do. Not, I want you to do it this way. Especially when it comes to music, I am not good at writing on demand. When we need music that fits like a certain situation, like when we went to the West and we need like Western sounding music, the other guys are much better at that. When I try to write a song, it just comes out as one of my songs. I have a very difficult time writing to a particular style. Anyways, time to write one of my songs. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that went reasonably well. I have no idea if this is what they wanted or not, but you know, that brings up an interesting point about creativity. I feel like it's not actually that difficult to just create something, but to create something in a specific style, getting the exact mood that you want to hit, that I feel like is kind of the trick. I don't think that's necessarily what everybody needs to be doing, but there's like two different avenues you can take. You can take this is your personality, this is your style, and you just stick with that. Or you can be like, I want to be able to write any style, make anything that fits a certain genre. If you're gonna write to your personality and just make stuff that is basically you, I think the prerequisite is that you have to have people who actually want what you're offering. I guess that's the same either way. It's just if you can do any style, you're more versatile. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's eat, let's eat. Oh! 
I am so tired. We're gonna do a live commentary of the Land Between the Lakes episode for our Patreon members. We realized the other day that we're really behind on commentaries. I think we're three episodes behind now. So anyway, we're gonna do a live stream of that. By the way, that's a perk of being a Patreon member if you would like. There's commentaries for like every episode after 15 or something. So there's a good 25 commentaries. But uh, before that, I gotta take a nap to be ready for that. So bite the bullet, let's go do it. Totally necessary nap. And I don't think I could have not taken it. But wow, am I discombobulated. How many hours was that? I have no idea. Okay, the discombobulation is slowly subsiding. My goodness. My brain region. Oh. Wake up a bit. With this live stream, baby. Naps, man. Sometimes they're fantastic and other times it is. Well, I don't even know what today was. Was it a mistake? Who knows? Probably not. I think I needed that. Yeah, I actually had the two ticks I got bitten by this year up in a jar up here, and I finally threw them away. <laughs> 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 Why'd you even put a message in a jar? <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't sure if I'd need them to like identify whether I had Lyme disease or not. So I <laughs> like them. Take this doctor. Here's the tick that bit me, sir. <laughs> like rabies. <If> you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot that that Land Between the Lakes episode was our longest episode yet, I think. It's like an hour and 40 minutes. Anyway, that was a good commentary. Hope you guys were able to join if you're a patron. Uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It might be a short one, but I think I really wanna do daily. I just love the concept of daily and it's so nice to have something to tune into every day. Come on, man. So the vlogs might be short coming up here, but I'm gonna try to do daily. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.